<laughs> Matt Wentz has got you covered. Hello, Matt. Hello again. Hey, as long as you don't ask me any of those tough questions, we're good. All right. <laughs> I don't know what the atmosphere is doing down in Florida or Mississippi. <laughs> right. Just kidding. Uh, we actually have a good read of that. And this is the latest. This is actually the updated advisory just out uh, on her, her, tropical depression. Ida. These are the remnants. Now you can see center of circulation now just north of Jackson, Mississippi. Everything kind of east and northeasternly loaded on this storm. Latest track takes it a little bit further south of what the thinking was for National Hurricane center about 24 hours ago had it coming up through Ohio, but it's further south. This is a Tuesday night Wednesday arrival for any impacts here on Northeast Ohio. But again, heavy rain continues to be the issue. Wind no longer an issue with this. Look at all the deep tropical moisture. Good news is it's not going to get here. Reason why we've got that frontal boundary that produced the showers and thunderstorms last night. Early this morning we had the flooding out in Geauga County. Very heavy rain. Southern Cuyahoga as well. That front is settled south, but with the push of this powerful low pressure, it's not making much more headway down to the south. It's kind of stalled out, so it's going to sit right about here. Ida's going to get steered off towards the north and the east. North of this, once Ida heads through, less humid air. Finally, right, two weeks of humidity that we've had around here. You can see what's left of the front with all the showers and thunderstorms now down to our south. We have had a couple hits of showers uh, down towards Tuscarawas and Holmes County. As we go hour by hour with your National Design Mart forecast, you can see a couple stray showers down to the south of Cleveland this evening. Overall, we're going to increase the clouds. A lot of this will be high cloudiness off of the remnants of Ida. You can see as we go throughout the daytime tomorrow, we're mainly dry. We will have some sun mixing with those wispy high clouds as they float overhead. And then we start to really thicken up the clouds tomorrow night. How far north the rain gets still in question, but I do think it's going to be south and east of 71. You can see as we go through time, models have pushed that further south as well. I think biggest threats will be Carroll and Tuscarawas counties. Otherwise, we're dealing with clouds giving way to sunshine on Wednesday and a refreshing breeze out of the north. In terms of rainfall, models keeping this south. You can see some of the heavier amounts near Carrollton as we get on into Tuesday night and Wednesday. Muggy meter, look at this. We are back into the comfortable category on Thursday and Friday overnight lows. These are your morning temperatures. We're going to be in the 50s Friday morning and Saturday morning. That is some almost fall like air coming in. What a replacement Union Home Mortgage seven day forecast 70s over the next seven days sunshine on Thursday, Friday, and then we deal with our next system Sunday, Monday.